In today's episode, we will show you three jungle nail designs. This is a perfect choice for a quick salon quality decoration with a real wow factor. Hi, my name is Connie and this is a channel dedicated to the art of nail styling. Today, we'll share with you some summer decoration ideas. We will look at a snakeskin design, an ombre and decorating with transfer foil. So let's get started. For today's decorations, we will use gels in Papa Smurf, Hakuna Banana, Ava Neon, and La Bamba, Art Brillanta gels in White and Black Poison, brushes, gel brush number no. 6, Master Nail Art 006, and Aquarel Sting, and top coats, Super Matte and Stracciatella. Additionally, we will need a mini ombre sponge, an X type crimper, Fashion Clear acrylic powder, Purple Cleaner, Purple Forms, Effect Base, and Hotsy Totsy transfer foil. Jungle nail decorations, as the name suggests, are inspired by the jungle. For several seasons now, nail art has been dominated by snakeskin and tiger stripes, but also tropical flowers and leaves. In general, the rule is to try combining as many methods as possible to make the design vibrant, colourful and tropical. On a previously matted surface, we apply, at random, irregular drops of Papa Smurf gel polish. In between, we place drops of Hakuna Banana, Ava Neon, and La Bamba. Using the oval part of the gel brush number six, we gently combine all colors in a top to bottom motion. Then using the Master Nail Art 006 brush, we correct the color transitions where necessary. We do not cure the nail at this stage. In this design, you don't have to worry about blending the colors perfectly. The effect we want to achieve should look just like the colorful Zap Ice Lolly. We put a drop of the Super Matte Top Coat on the nail art palette. Using the Aquarel Sting Brush, we place small dots of the Super Matte on the uncured layer of the gel varnish mix. We place the first row of dots, one by one, down one side of the nail, leaving a small gap between them. We then do a second row, placing the dots on the level of gaps from the first row. We continue creating rows along the whole nail, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We put a drop of Art Brillante in white onto the nail art palette. We wipe the cured nails with a pad soaked in purple cleaner to get rid of any sticky residue. We don't need to apply another top coat layer to this style of decoration as we want its structure to remain delicate. We use the Master Nail Art 006 brush to pick up a small amount of the Art Brillante white. Starting at the top of the nail, we paint irregular patches similar in shape to the spots on a giraffe. They should vary in size. We paint them next to each other, some higher, some lower. We create patches on the lower part of the nail in a similar manner, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. All done! This is what the first jungle nail styling should look like. We cover the second nail with two layers of gel polish in Ava Neon, curing each layer in the lamp for 30 seconds. Neon colors tend to be densely pigmented, and this is the case with the Ave Neon polish we are using today. However, we mustn't forget that applying a second layer always makes the color more saturated and a two more vibrant. We cover the whole nail in a thin layer of the effect base and cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Using a pair of sharp scissors, we cut off a small piece of the Hotsy Totsy transfer foil. Apply it firmly to the nail and pull it off in one decisive motion. We repeat this in several places on the nail to make the design more interesting. Transfer foil can be applied in several ways. Products which will make it nice and easy include the effect base, the paint black and a special foil adhesive. We can use the adhesive in the same way we use the effect base, but it can also be used on top of classic nail varnishes. However, we must be sure our varnish has properly dried. The foil can also be transferred onto the sticky surface of wet varnish. The effect will be slightly different, but equally interesting. The aforementioned paint black will be useful for applying foil onto patterns. We cover the whole nail surface with the Stracciatella top coat. Cure in the lamp for 30 seconds and then wipe with a pad soaked in purple cleaner. Using the Master Nail Art 006 brush dipped in Art Brillante White, we paint a thin, curved line which will form the stem of the leaf. Along the line, we place small tear-shaped dots, one next to the other. With a clean brush, draw a thin line from the center of each dot towards the stem to create the leaves. Then pull the brush from the center of each dot in the opposite direction to create the point of each leaf. Cure for 30 seconds. In the upper right corner of the nail, we paint a few irregular spots which we then cure for 30 seconds. And that's it! The second jungle styling is all done! We cover the next nail from the top to the middle of its length in La Bamba gel polish. We apply Ava Neon gel polish to the bottom half of the nail. The colors should just about touch each other in the middle. To prepare the ombre sponge, we put it into the X-type crimper. We need a purple form to remove impurities from the sponge. 
We peel one form off and remove the excess glue by pressing it on our forearm. We then press the sponge against the form, repeating the motion several times across the sticky surface to ensure all debris have been removed and nothing will stick to our gel polish. We blend the previously applied colours with the dust-free sponge. We start from the centre, moving briskly from left to right, millimetre by millimetre. We continue this motion until the sponge drinks up all the excess product and then we move the sponge gently up and down to deepen the blend. Remember, the first layer has to be blended perfectly. The transition between colours must be smooth enough to look as if they were merging into each other. We sprinkle the Fashion Clear acrylic powder on the uncured ombre layer, making sure both sides are evenly covered and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We paint the next layer exactly like the first. We apply La Bamba gel to the top and Avenion to the bottom. We sponge from left to right and from right to left so that the colours blend together seamlessly. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We add a third layer now and blend again until we achieve a perfect transition. Cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Cover the whole nail in the super matte top coat and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Wipe the nail with a pad soaked in purple cleaner to get rid of any impurities. Put a drop of Art Brillante Black Poison on the nail art palette and dip the Master Nail Art 006 brush in it. Then, from roughly the center of the nail plate, draw some irregular lines which should resemble tiger stripes. Draw a few stripes on the side, a few on the top and the bottom of the nail. Cure in the lamp for 30 seconds and you're done! This is one of those designs that even a nail art beginner can easily handle because the stripes we paint don't have to be perfectly even. This is what all three jungle nail designs look like. And that's the end of today's episode. Be sure to share with us if you've tried any fancy jungle nail art on you or your client's nails already. And let us know in the comments below if you remember what flavor the rainbow colored sap ice lolly is. Thanks for watching. Bye.